Hello everyone, I haven't done one of these videos in a while, but here I'm back with an example solve for 6x6 using Nao. I currently use the Aoshi WRM as my main, and I average around 147, so let's get started. So here we have just a hand scramble, and I only solve on white and yellow, so or white cross, so I'll be starting with white or yellow. So, immediately I see the white center is pretty decent. So you have these four pieces here that could be made into a bar, and then after that you have these two and these two. Looking ahead to third bar, I see these three I'm probably going, and this piece which I'm probably going to do something with. So... My solution would be something like slice moves to pair up this bar, then you move that oblique into, to pair up the bar. Do something like this to pair up these three, and pair up this bar, and then immediately rotate over here. Then I can do something like this, and then finally insert this bar like that. Rotating over here, I see these two, so I'm going to pair them up like this so I can see more of the cube. Now, I, the last piece is probably going to be somewhere back here. I'm, I'm thinking it's along this slice here, so move this down, and then rotate do something like that to pair up the bar and insert it like that. Now, next thing is um, I see this and these three, but I also see this piece and these three up here. So what I can do is reorient the front face then pair up that bar, go into pairing up this, Put these two next to each other and then insert them together like that. Now what is annoying is that these two obliques are stuck and they're in the same orbit so I know I'm going to have to rotate and to pair up the last two bars. So there's these three paired up like that and then insert and finally these last two pieces and then these two um, can pair up like this and then finally instead of rotating and inserting I insert this last bar like that and I saw the blue uh, cross edge so these two and then this piece and finally um, right here orange, one, two, three, four, like that, and then finally red, these two here, and probably here, yep, insert like, or pair up like this, and I notice I inserted my orange cross edge wrong, that's a mistake, so what I would do is just simply like this, do that, just don't make the mistake in the first place. <laughs> Next, I see blue, these three, this, this, and that. So I can pair up these two like this. Do something like that to pair up this bar, and then insert it like that. Finally, or next you have that. Slice that piece in. And then finally do this. And while I while I'm at it, I see um, these two, this and this, which I can pair up into a two by four like um, like this for orange. Since I'm going to do that next, now I see these three, 
couldn't find a leak that. I see these three are already paired up, so this bar will be easy to pair up. Do something like this. Something like that. And then insert last two centers. I see these here. I'm just trying to think of a way to pair up uh, 2x4. So I can do something like this, like that, and then finally insert that. Then you have this three move case, which is easy, and then here you can cancel it into a commutator after setting up this case, like that. Rotate, see these two, this, and something like that. Okay, free slice edges, these three. Um, these four, these three, and that, and finally, um, blue and yellow. Kick out two edges, and then start cycling. So, something like this. Usually it's better to go edge by edge, but sometimes I pair up middles for the middle two pieces first, depending on which is easier. And then finally, um, last two edges. I almost did the wrong algorithm. Don't do that. Finally, three by three stage with parity. So here, obviously you do the parity here. So that leaves you with all corners. This looks like a J perm. So from here it looks like a J perm. So I'm going to immediately look over here once OLL is done to see if I have parity. And I don't. So J perm and that's it. So thanks for watching.